Welcome, Welcome back, back to Local 5 Live. Live. It's one of the most important things you can do for your family when it comes to long-term planning. Some of those. Today with Cooper Law Abigail Office and Attorney and Justin Randall, Randall, we're talking all about your health care documents. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Justin. So what nice is a power of attorney document? And why nice to see you guys, too. So what so health care documents would you consider an important part of an estate plan? Place in case you so want there's really three health care documents that you should always have in place. There's a health care power of attorney, there's a HIPAA authorization, and a living will. So what are the different types? of documents so that go into the POA between those three different. to us, if you would. So the main types of documents Yeah, so a healthcare power of, power of attorney is not unlike a financial power of attorney in that it allows healthcare. people to make so decisions like on your behalf. Imply, the um, but in this case, it's attorney, making healthcare uh, decisions. And those healthcare decisions range from just your day-to-day know, -day healthcare decisions. Whereas and it can also go as far as making end-of-life decisions for a loved one as well. So this is a really, really important document because if you don't have this in place, and you are Unable to it sign one when the time comes for your times, family to have this authority, like then you have to go through a process do. called guardianship for to, like, them to get that authority, and that can just be added stress on the family, added cost to the family. Is that uh, a HIPAA that authorization? Or are there other um, I'm sure this is a too. document that. Pretty much everybody has signed at this point. I would be pretty surprised if we haven't all yeah, signed a HIPAA authorization throughout our lives. If, but if HIPAA is the law that says doctors, doctors healthcare professionals sure can't talk to third parties without well, your prior authorization. So this is Monday essentially Friday, a list of people difficult. that you provide to the doctor saying, Let's talk a little bit here's about who I want you to be able to talk to if they reach out on my behalf. So it's not decision making, it's just information access. All of them, And then a living will, which is also sometimes called a declaration healthcare professionals. Um, they're only allowing um, your this is really your end of life wishes that you uh, are uh, them to do codifying or putting into a document. So um, whether you want to be on life support, whether you uh, want to be removed from life support if you can't recover, and so what you want say, that you know, to look like when the time comes. Uh, uh, it's mom, also a document where people will sometimes put in uh, certain religious uh, requirements no. that they have at the end of life So what do we well. do in that situation? Um, but this is really what makes care of things after. Sure. You know, makes your wishes known when we're talking about a personal representative under a will. Justin, who makes a good agent under a health care power of attorney? I can understand why this is something to navigate with a team of professionals like yours. The seminar is really a great place to start, somebody who is trustworthy, somebody who is responsible and is able to trust seminar where we talk more about powers of attorney and wills and trust kind of uh, somebody who is there college, when you need I think them a lot of people think of this so as maybe an end of life, grandparents, things like that. But it's never too early to make sure you have power of attorney. Life can change in an instant. That's not a necessity Absolutely. in acting and in this role. It can certainly help. Documents, as soon as you're um, but having need, somebody that you trust um, to follow your wishes that you think to, you know, um, after having conversations about end of life wishes that they are comfortable or as comfortable as they can be in acting those wishes. Location can also be a pretty big factor with healthcare powers of attorney because a lot of times this is the person that you'd probably want uh, available to go to doctor's appointments or come to the hospital if you need them to.